What's up with the squad? Back with another video. I'm reckless. Got flies on live mini video, but it's okay. It's okay. We'll be alright. I was told to keep going. Make sure y'all hit that like with that subscribe. Other videos y'all want me to check out, make sure y'all email me life reckless um, at yahoo.com or DM me on Instagram, life reckless. Let's get into the video. What's up, guys? It's your boy Benny. Know thy enemy is what Sun Tzu said in the Art of War book, arguably one of the greatest military books ever. Know thy enemy. What about what if we're the enemy? What about the people who hate us? Like, does our enemy know that we are led by a man who has dementia and that we are weaker than we've ever been? Is our enemy going to test America because we have such feckless, old, diseased leadership? engaging in elder abuse and graft corruption and ripping off the American taxpayer every single day that don't even know when they're posting photos of Delta Force to dox them? This is the just unbelievable story from this morning. Breach of protocol and security as Biden doxes elite Delta Force, jeopardizing national security. Controversy surrounding SEAL Team 6, same thing. Joe Biden giving up SEAL Team 6 and then giving up Delta Force. It's like they want these guys to be injured. And now the firings actually started. Now people are actually shooting at us all over the Mideast. You want mean tweets back? You want them back, baby? I want some mean tweets right about now. U.S. Navy warship near Yemen intercepts. I was told to watch what I'm saying, but that is pretty idiotic. Missiles fired by Iranian-backed militants a day after troops were attacked in Iraq and Syria, fending off drone attacks as tensions escalate in the Middle East. Do you miss Orange Man? I certainly do. Drones were intercepted near Syria's border with Iraq and Jordan. Troops also intercepted drone though. strikes on Iraq on Tuesday. U.S. contractor died uh, of a heart attack while sheltering at an Iraq base. Jeez, man, maybe you shouldn't be in a war zone. There was no attack but they had been warned of an incoming threat. Interesting, let's read. U.S. Navy warship stationed near Yemen intercepted missiles today fired by Iranian-backed militants. In the latest sign of escalation, the USS Kearney shot down two land missiles and three drones fired by Iran-backed Houthi militants in Yemen. It is unclear whether the target was the ship or Israel. There was no injuries. Well, I mean, if the missiles are being fired over a ship, then you'd have to assume that the ship is the pro, you know, is what they're looking at. The Here's a map of everywhere that America is being attacked right now. American bases in Syria, American bases in Iraq. Wednesday, troops shoot down drones targeting uh, oil fields in Syria. Wednesday, U.S. troops stationed at the air base intercept drones being fired at them. Tuesday, two drone strikes are intercepted in the al Asadi air base Minor injuries are reported, and here is a, vi uh, fo a photo of the USS Kearney, a warship that was the intended target of missiles fired from Yemen. Wow, it's almost like our enemies sense weakness and fecklessness. Here's a uh, interesting headline here. Iran warns time is up in ominous message. So what does that mean? I mean, all these guys are Iranian-backed. Joe Biden just released six... Comment down below. Do they sense weakness, y'all? Why Why do they sense weakness, y'all? It's a billion dollars for the Iranians. So, is, is that what they mean? They're going to start shooting at us? USS Kearney, uh, with the U.S. Navy, is reported to have detected three missiles heading northward last night while at the Ren Sea. Near the coast of Yemen, all the missiles being intercepted with the surface-to-air missiles, the missiles are believed to have been launched toward Israel by the Houthi terrorist groups in Yemen, who only yesterday declared their intention to join the war against Israel. Well, this is exactly what you would say if you were trying to uh, save face and say that Americans aren't being like openly attacked and hunted throughout the Mideast. U.S. Navy destroyer in the Red Sea shoots down cruise missiles potentially headed towards Israel. Again, they're saying that these things were headed towards Israel, but they're not providing any basis for that, right? If these missiles were, in fact, aimed at American warships, which it sure as hell looks like it, I mean, they're able to shoot down the missiles, so they've got to be pretty close, well, that would be a really, really bad thing. It would be a really bad look. 
breaking. U.S. warship attack from Yemen. U.S. warship op uh, operating in the Middle East intercepted multiple missiles fired by Iranian-backed Houthi militants. While the U.S. officials cannot 100% confirm the warship was the target, I mean, what the hell else would it be? The U.S.S. Kearney uh, transited through the Suez Canal into the Red Sea on Wednesday. So this is some, you know, and this is some general footage of the ship and things that go on on the ship. Pew, pew, pew. Uh, U.S. Navy destroyer. Probably going to flag me for this video, too, y'all. Not even sandwich, you know? I'm not even sandwich. Because I feel like, honestly, like, if you if you really want to get down to it, this video kind of speaks for itself. I mean, we, look, I mean, like I always say, like, I feel like people need to actually, obviously, take, you know, this election, this upcoming election, very serious, um, regardless. And they take it very serious. Because this this is insane. This is for real insane. The whole administration. Shot down multiple missiles off the coast of Yemen. They're making sure that they're adding, hey, look, uh, we, we they weren't firing at the ship. They are just firing around the ship, you see. Missile destroyer USS Kearney, operating in the Northern Red Sea earlier today, shot down three land attack cruise missiles and several drones that were launched by Houthi forces in Yemen. This action was a demonstration of the integrated air and missile defense architecture that we have built in the Middle East and that we are prepared to utilize whenever necessary to protect our partners and our interests in this important region. There were no casualties to U.S. forces and none that we know of to any civilians. Benny's face be killing me, y'all. Information about these engagements is still being processed. Uh, we cannot say for certain what these missiles and drones were targeting, but they were launched from Yemen, heading north along the Red Sea, potentially towards targets in Israel. Our defensive response was one that we would have taken for any similar threat in the region, where we're able to do so against our interest personnel and our partners. This attack may be ongoing, so if we have more information to share, we will. But again, as the Secretary has made clear, we have the capability to defend our broader interests in the region and to deter regional escalation and broader expansion of the conflict that began with Hamas's attack on Israeli civ civilians so, on October 7th. So, I effing love this, man. This, this is rich. So, remember this guy? This is the guy, I don't know his name. Admiral whatever. Akbar. And Admiral Akbar is the same guy that was trotted out when the Chinese were flying a spy balloon over the entire country and nobody was doing anything about it. We didn't shoot it down. There's a spy balloon sitting there hovering, gathering up insane amounts of spy data on Americans, on us, on our military bases, on our nuclear silos. Wow. And the Biden that, regime bro. just let it happen. And this guy was one of the- Who did? Silos. Of course, of course. I'm, and I'm sorry, I'm the sorry. the Biden regime just let it happen. And this guy was one of the guys that was just like, hey, look up in the sky. It's there. We don't know why it's there. Yeah, you're, okay, so hold on, hold on. You're able to shoot down missiles. You don't know where the hell the missiles are going. You're just guessing. Maybe the missiles are going to the boat. Maybe the missiles are going to Israel. You don't know where the hell the missiles are going. You shoot them down anyway. You, you barely know who fired them. And so you blast those things out of the sky but you allow the Chinese spy balloon to float above America with your thumb up your butt, saying, I don't know what to do. This is the same guy that was trotted out to be like, oh, uh, we don't really know where the spy balloon is. You can look up in the- Benny, that was wild. That was wild, but he, I mean, but he's speaking facts though. Like, this is ridiculous, bro. This guy to see This is ridiculous. I remember this jackal. What a complete ass hat. So, yeah, I mean, great, really good. Really glad that we take such decisive action to protect Israel and zero action to protect the United States of America. Awesome, really fantastic. I'm sure everyone's feeling really confident seeing that and then really, really confident seeing uh, this last night, uh, Joe Biden saying that Hamas better shoot straight when they're aiming for Israelis. And I'm not suggesting that Hamas deliberately did it either. It's that old thing. Got to learn how to shoot straight. <laughs> uh, you know, See that? First time. You got to learn how to shoot straight, Hamas. Same thing with you, the Houthi rebels in Yemen. Got to learn how to shoot straight.
Make sure you hit our ships when you point at them with your. Uh, disregard what Joe, what, what Biden just said. Just look how he's talking. <laughs> you see that? You gotta learn how to shoot. Talk so low and just so like. Straight Hamas. Same thing with you, the Houthi rebels in Yemen. Gotta learn how to shoot straight. Make sure you hit our ships when you point at them with your military missiles. But if the Chinese fly a balloon over a country, have at it, baby. Go, have at it. Straight to Disneyland Beijing. Yeah, it's gonna inspire a lot of confidence. Clips like these inspire a lot of confidence. Joe Biden asked about being in Israel and the tragedy in Israel, and here's his response. Virtually every... Bro, I, I'm about to be done with this video. I'm about to be done, bro. This is who is leading the country, bro. This don't do nothing but make me mad, bro. It like make your it just make it just make your body boil. Just like look how I responding, bro. Like you're not even you're not even virtually every mass shooting. What? What are you talking about? Circumstance where what? Large number of people have been victimized, and lost. I spoke to. Hey, I'm in the video right there. Make sure y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts in this video. He ain't doing nothing making me mad, bro. Like, this is somebody that's leading a country. Somebody that's leading a country. Listen to him. What are you talking about? Circumstance where... What? Large number of people have been victimized and lost. I spoke to you. I learned a long time ago. What you are. What are you talking about? Life. 